Carolyn Smith. I am a professor in the Daniel Guggenheim School of Aerospace Engineering, and I am also the director of the Vertical Lift Research Center of Excellence. I do research in unsteady aerodynamics, aerodynamics, and aeroelasticity, specifically the nonlinear interaction between fluids and structures. The difference between steady and unsteady aerodynamics has to do with time. The aerodynamics, when you say steady aerodynamics, is such that you're flying at, for example, a constant speed. Your lift, drag, and moment are not going to vary with time. In reality, we know that's really not what happens. Um, it's especially important when you're doing fast, agile maneuvers. A racing drone simulation with a steady or static drag model will not be accurate. The reason is, is because you're maneuvering and you're changing speeds rapidly. The change in the aerodynamics when you change your flight situation, either your attitude or your speed, doesn't change instantaneously. There is a lag between the two. And so unsteady aerodynamics, part of what that does is to characterize what is that lag change. And so you'll get a much better flying experience much more, say, when you're actually flying your vehicle than if you assume steady aerodynamics, which assumes that the change happens instantaneously. So what we have done is we have tried to understand this behavior. We have collapsed them into trends. And then what we're doing in our real-time modeling is we're modeling these trends that are specific to the different kinds of shapes that we see making up these bodies. To do that, we have to solve the governing equations in motion, which are not trivial. They take many hours on a lot of computers to solve. It can include things like uh, struts, arms, legs, uh, wings, rough shapes for the fuselage housing, the um, avionics housing, for example. We can go to a very high level of detail if needed. If you don't have a good estimate of those aerodynamics and you don't know when they're going to come into play during the maneuver, then you're not going to be able to fly the vehicle correctly. Air is critical to making drones fly.